This talk focuses on using a blog as a showcasing tool and how we used it to enhance the quality review process in Maynooth University Library. I will talk to you about the background and the process of developing the blog and Emma will talk about some of the design elements and she'll present the feedback received from the quality reviewers. So why a blog? Um, well, the library was approached by the Vice President for Strategy and Quality in Maynooth University with a view to the library being the first um, department to undergo the third cycle of quality review in the university. So our Deputy Librarian Helen Fallon was appointed to project manage the process and draft a self-assessment report. Uh, the senior management team acted as a steering group while staff had an opportunity to contribute. It was decided that in addition to preparing a self-assessment report, the library would produce a blog for the peer reviewers so that prior to their site visit, they could view the blog and see the wide range of activity the library is involved in. Um, as Emma and I were awarded in the ANLTC um, 2014 blog competition, Emma is here, it was decided that we should produce a blog for the reviewers in consultation with Helen. Uh, we decided to use the blog as a visual aid to enhance the quality review process. So what happened next? Um, we had a brainstorming session with Helen and blogger extraordinaire Jane Burns. I think my voice is, is the microphone okay? Yeah, okay. Um, so thank you, Jane, I see you there. Um, so we discussed what we wanted to convey in the blog we wanted to give an accurate and a balanced representation of the work undertaken within the university and the wider community. So we set up using a basic template in uh, WordPress, uh, which is free web software. We had a tight deadline and the session, um, this really helped us to kickstart the process. So um, we had the advantage of knowing our audience and the knowledge that not all of our audience were familiar with the library. <coughs> so we had a vast amount of um, work to display and we needed to be selective um, as we couldn't feature everything for the review period which was 2010 to 2015. So the information had to be as, as concise as possible and uh, chronological where necessary. Uh, for example, when showcasing the various exhibitions and events held in the library. Most of all, the blog had to be easy to understand and to navigate. So in order to do this um, in traditional library style, uh, we broke in each area that we wanted to highlight into the different subject headings. Uh, so you can see them across the top there. Um, so we have uh, collections, community engagement, events, exhibitions, staff development and student experience. So uh, we used existing material from our winning blogs as they both had displayed library activity in different ways. We also harvested the information on library Flickr and Facebook accounts. And once we had exhausted all the existing resources, uh, the creativity began. So uh, we created many videos displaying the ver diverse range of library activity. For example, we gathered evidence from photos from previous events and competitions held in the library. Sorry. Uh, with selective editing, we used the photos to convey the library engaging with the students. And this also showed how the students um, used the library space. So uh, another example uh, from an area that we wanted to focus on was library staff activity who were involved in um, you know, presenting at conferences and seminars. Uh, so unfortunately the evidence for this uh, area was uh, scarce so it turned out to be quite an undertaking. So our solution was to scour the depths of the internet and uh, to find any moments that had been captured uh, of these events. So we took advantage of the discovered material, selectively stopping videos to capture library staff activity in action. 
I'm sure our colleagues will thank us for that. Um, one thing we didn't expect to discover was the evolution of our staff hairstyles over the <laughs> of five year period. They varied a lot. As you can see, this, um, I've gone on too much, hold on. This was me handing over to Emma to say she'll continue with the talk. Thank you. Thanks, thanks Bernie. Um, so in this section, I'm going to be speaking about um, the general layout of the blog, and I'll also be presenting the feedback which we received from the quality reviewers. So um, the first thing that we had to consider um, was this, once the structure and the content of the blog had been decided, the next step was to choose a design theme. So the first thing that we had to um, consider was the inclusion of the university logo, which was very important. Now, we want the logo to be in a clear position beside uh, the title. So using that as a starting point to search for an appropriate theme, um, this, is, this is how we went about it. Now, as we were using free uh, design templates on WordPress, um, we only had an option of three that were available that would um, allow us to um, upload an image or a logo along with the title. So um, from that point, uh, keeping in mind some of the basic elements of good design, like composition, fonts, color, palette, etc., we narrowed it down to this particular template, which is actually called Big Brother. So um, within this design, we were able to upload uh, images and um, instead of using solid color um, in, the back, in the backdrop. And so this afforded us an opportunity to become creative. And, and also, the use of the images would captivate the audience straight away when looking at the blog. <clears throat> so the images that we used, we used um, a variety of images, um, modern and uh, kind of an old worldly feel. And um, we have a bank of images um, at Maynooth University, which we've um, gathered over the years. And the images that we decided to use are, are not the obvious image, images. Um, we've chosen images that have sort of an artistic or a unique perspective. And um, uh, obviously, as I said before, they, they have a sort of a, a modern um, look as well. Um, for instance, this image here we used on the welcome screen. So rather than using the front image of the, um, the facade of the library building, this image kind of is sort of modern and exotic looking. So it's very kind of welcoming. And similarly, we used kind of the old worldly um, look of the, the far image over there, which is kind of has that antique look. And we used, um, within those images, we used Picasso, which is, an, you've probably heard of it, as an online photo editor. And um, this, I'm sorry, I'm really running out of time here. Um, I'll move on. So we just used um, quickly the, the, the backdrop as a map. It's, um, it symbolizes a journey of development um, of library activities going from local, regional, national to international. And again, we used Picasso to um, uh, edit the images down. Um, the journey of development, it um, increased our skill set also. Um, so it was very um, good to use the, the map sim symbol. It symbolized um, that journey for us. Um, I'm going to quickly go on to the, um, the reviewers' comments and um, just to say that um, uh, we've got feedback from two of the external reviewers, um, but just to say that um, throughout the whole process of creating the blog, the feedback was very positive. And um, so I'll just, I'll just outline these very quickly. Um, from uh, the, the blog, this is from Jan. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my tra train of thought here. Um, sorry. Jan Wilkinson, sorry, Manchester U University Library. Um, she uh, said as a, the, our blog performed the wonderful job of showcasing all the, the wonderful things that are going on at Maynooth, and without it, it would be impossible to gain so many insights into the, the breadth and depth of our impressive library. And Professor Mark Boyle from the Geography Department, Maynooth University, said that it was an excellent and pioneering example and most impressive initiative and is to be commended to all units in Maynooth. So I think from that very positive feedback, we can say that the blog was an important and useful tool to enhance the quality review process. So it was a very satisfying creative learning experience. So on behalf of myself and Bernie, I would just like to extend uh, thanks to Deputy um, Helen Fallon, Deputy Librarian, and also to the library staff at Maynooth University um, for all their help and support. So thank you, and sorry for running over the time. <laughs>